Okay, here comes a video on types of forces. There are two main categories of forces. There are non-contact forces, which forces are forces that can uh, exert without actually touching something. And there are contact forces, forces that you can only have when something touches something else. So let's start with uh, non-contact forces. And those are forces where uh, touch is not required. Wow, my handwriting is extra bad today. Sorry about that. Okay, so examples of non-contact forces. Uh, one example of non-contact forces uh, is, of a non-contact force, is gravity. Gravity uh, affects things from a distance. For example, uh, the Earth and the Moon. They attract each other even though they're not touching each other. Uh, another category here is electromagnetic, which breaks down into the electric force and the magnetic force. You've seen examples of this. You've probably rubbed a balloon on your hair and stuck it to a wall, but what would happen if you rubbed two balloons on your hair and hung them from a string? Well, they would repel each other, and that's action, action at a distance, so that's a non-contact force. Uh, maybe you've seen somebody who has one of these uh, little magnetic toy thingies that makes a, something levitate, uh, kind of freaky looking. There's a magnet in the base, and there's a magnet inside whatever the part of the toy is floating. So that's another non-contact force. Uh, the nuclear forces, uh, the strong nuclear force that holds our atoms together is a, a non-contact force. You would think, uh, you would think that our atoms would all just fly apart in every which way because um, everything, uh, the protons in there are all positive and they want to get away from each other. But there's this force called the strong nuclear force that holds all this stuff together. It's kind of like a, a glue force and lucky for us it exists otherwise our atoms would all fly apart. But this one, this is a weird force because it acts at such a short range, something like 10 to the negative 15th meters. So it's such a small distance, it's just kind of inconceivable to me. Uh, anyway, let's go over to the other side. Contact forces. Uh, contact forces are things that are um, pushes or pulls. Uh, for example, uh, tension is a contact force. Someone on a swing set, um, that's a, there's tension in that chain. Just as an example, um, you can have, let's see here, oh, let's go red the person's weight pulls down and then the tension in the chain or rope pulls up and that's a, a, a contact force. Uh, the normal force, the normal force is kind of weirdly named, I don't know who named it or why they named it normal but here's the idea. Uh, if you have a book on a table and the weight of that book pushes down, well the book's not moving, it's not accelerating so uh, that means the the table must be pushing back up on the book. So somewhere, somebody along the lines um, called this the normal force. Or just as another quick example, uh, if you have a skier, uh, the skier's weight is pushing down uh, on the hill. And let's see here, let's go that color. And so the skier's weight is pushing down and the normal force pushes up out of the hill. So that's the normal force, which is another um, contact force. Okay, And then here's where whoever made this picture and I have a, a, a small problem. Uh, friction can be a push if you're pulling, but if you're pushing, friction is a pull. Basically friction is a force that opposes motion. So friction actually, in my mind, belongs under pushes, and it could also, or it should also, be under pulls. So we should have friction over here as well. But anyway, this this uh, this um, graphic organizer here is, I think, a great way to become introduced to types of forces.